Hi, I'm Becca. I'm Jenna. I'm Brianna. And I'm Simon. And we are all seniors at Gretna High School. We do! And this piece is called Sex Ed. Abstinence only sex education. Everybody's, Everybody's favorite. favorite. You know how it goes. We are separated into boys and girls. Marched into small rooms. And given the, the talk. talk. The biennial reminder that every choice we make is the wrong one. So, dear, dear sex educators, educators. Thank you. No, really, thank you. Thank you for teaching us about how girls are spaghetti and boys are waffles. What? what? That's real science. Something with our brains. <laughs> Something about how girls just can't keep it together. And boys are emotionless freaks. I didn't realize that gender was comparable to food groups. Dear, Dear sex, sex educators, educators, thank you for comparing my sexual worth to the stickiness of tape. The more I exercise it, the less valuable I am. I really felt like there was a strong bond between us. I continued to warm up to you when you explained how girls who have sex don't respect themselves. Girls, girls who have sex think about nothing else. Girls who have sex are always completely miserable. Dear sex educators, thank you for enlightening us about how boys are logical, but girls have feelings. Like it's only ever one or the other, never both. Thank you for reminding us how different we are, how important it is that we are segregated. We noticed when you gave us separate classes. Dear sex, sex educators, educators, thank you for telling us that if I get lucky, it's all our fault because my shirts are too low and my skirts are too high. And guys are just raging hormones like, like kids, kids in, in a, a candy, candy shop, shop dogs, dogs in, in a steakhouse. steakhouse. We can't expect them to think for themselves. They're just animals. They I can't, can't control, control it. it. Thank you for teaching us to be afraid of men. Dear sex educators, thank you for saying at the start of every sentence, there's no shame in this room. Before proceeding to shame us for our clothes, our, our piercings, piercings, our personality. Thank you for telling us that there's no shame in making us feel worthless. Dear sex educators, when you refused to give us information, you made us turn to other sources. We had to teach ourselves what we needed to know. We made our own mistakes. And it didn't ruin us like you said it would. But you did teach us some things. You taught us how to question before accepting, to, to think before, before believing. believing, and for that we thank you. But you won't be getting any thank you letters from the people that you left behind. So consider this a parting gift from those who know better. Sincerely. With all the love. Respect. Kindness. And dignity that we deserved in the first place. Your, your students. students.